what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to upgrade your electrical in a vintage trailer. Now this works for any kind of RV because what we're looking at is 12 volt DC. Now we have a 1965 Scotsman and we had a 110 system in there which is AC, kind of like your house. And what we did is we would run an extension cord up to a, a little plug and that would power things in the trailer. But the thing is we've really started to enjoy boondocking and camping without any hookups whatsoever. No water, no electrical, none of that stuff. And we found some beautiful spots. And we live in the Southwest where it seems like about half the land is federal land. You can camp pretty much anywhere you'd like. And so what I'm doing is upgrading our 12 volt system so that we can spend more time out uh, in the middle of nowhere where it's just absolutely beautiful and we'll have the power to do it. We started by putting in a diesel heater and in the description below I'm going to give you a link to that video and that well when you fix one thing it leads to another so I put in this diesel heater which is fantastic by the way and you need to power it when you're boondocking so I got some batteries and got that going but then I learned more and more about DC systems and I figured well let's just upgrade the electrical so I upgraded it a little bit for our last trip but now in the next couple of videos I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to bring it up to its maximum potential and that's with solar that's with shore power charging and something else I figured out from a seven point plug and I'll show you exactly how this works you can actually get power to charge the batteries while you're driving now uh, if I get all three of those things working charge with shore power before we leave um, shore power by the way is 110 from your house or driveway and uh, solar and also charging from the car we should be good to go so let's get started so one of the things I have to do is empty everything out because while David's working on the electrical I'm going to be working on organizing everything to make it as efficient as possible We've gone on a couple of trips and sometimes at the end of the trip you just like throw everything into the trailer because you just want to get her done. And I think we can do this in a more efficient way, so I'm working on it. attaching a charge controller to some clips to work on what I call the milk crate. And the milk crate is something I'm going to put in the back of the car. It'll have a battery and a jackery in it. And I'll be able to charge it from the cigarette lighter in the back of the SUV, our GMC Yukon. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I've got some of this special shrink stuff that works really well for this and you put it over where you're putting two wires together and then you take heat and what you do then is you sort of melt it and it shrinks on there got a little arc torch here that works really well for this kind of thing and there you go so I've just wired up a milk crate charging station and this will be for the SUV so we can use it with or without the trailer. We have a cigarette plug that goes here and then this splits off into two and I wired a charge controller onto this and uh, I'm going to charge the auxiliary battery with this. We can use this to jump start things and uh, also just for power in general 
And I've got a charge controller here on that. And I'm also plugged it into our Jackery, which um, is an amazing thing here. So right now it's at 83% charged. And uh, you can do all kinds of things with this. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. But here what I'm doing is uh, charging two batteries here. And later on today I'm going to hook up a bunch of other stuff to this. And I'm also going to take some zip ties and tie the wires on here so it's nice and neat. But for now I'm just testing to see if it works. All right, uh, the milk crate is uh, finished for now. I've got my spare battery, which I can jump things with if I need to. It's a regular car battery. And that's hooked up to a charger, which is down here. Everything's zip tied in to keep it nice and tidy. And uh, what happens here is it comes through the cigarette lighter, splits, and part of it charges the Jackery, and part of it charges the other battery. And later on, I'm going to set up a charging station right here in this spot. So we can have an inverter and, uh, and a few other things so that uh, we can charge our phones and even run some AC. I just installed a little mini inverter here so we can get AC power from the milk crate system. Putting some real heavy gauge wire and putting these batteries into what we call parallel, which makes for one big super battery. And uh, it's got a lot of life in it because it's got 12 volts, but a lot more um, stored power. I'm using a little stick lighter here to melt this stuff, shrink it on, and basically glue it on there. It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> Okay, time to attach the negative to the negative. Not so easy to do under a bed where you're basically almost upside down doing this. But you got her done. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this new super battery up to a positive bus bar and a negative bus bar. And that way, this one's the ground and this one will go to a fuse box which we'll be putting on next week and that'll power everything. Alright, well we finished up the stuff we wanted to get done today. You're looking right at the battery charger which has shore power AC 110 volts from the outside coming inside and it's charging the batteries. Okay, we got the bus bars finished there. There's the positive one on top and the negative one on the bottom, the ground and the one up there. We got it all hooked up to the diesel heater, which is really fun. And so we have both batteries put together. We also have a really cool power inverter here. And we can actually get AC from the DC. So that's what power inverters do. You flip it on here. And I can run. So we can run the vacuum cleaner. So we got uh, both batteries here and they're charging. We've got uh, shore power charging them from AC to DC. We've got the bus bars finished which is really great. Uh, next time we're going to put in the fuse box and uh, wire the trailer up for 12 volt for lights and everything else. So I'm looking forward to that next time. Thanks for hanging out and uh, if you have any questions please put them in the comments below.